guys. Now, um, I'm going to start off by um, mentioning a comment that somebody made. Uh, Jonathan G said uh, he thinks it would be look much more visually appealing if we had uh, this group of buildings here mirrored on the other side of the mega towers. And you know something, Jonathan? I absolutely agree with you. I think it would be a really nice idea to have another group of these over here and we've got a nice space for them to go in so um yeah i'm gonna do that gonna do that here's my uh, somebody oh who came up with this name i think it was a guy called jtm 2002 i i'm not 100 percent sure he came up with a name for this malfunction junction <laughs> i love it absolutely love it uh, by the way guys i am gonna play around with this in the uh, like in the final tinkering session and I think you'll see that it'll be a bit different but um, yeah it's just <laughs> oh good lord yeah I, I'm gonna move swiftly on gonna move swiftly on right now this is where this is where having a good memory comes in because um, when I put this circle in I remember that it cost 5,000 to put in so um, and I'm pretty sure that it's a medium density. So let's um, let's just double check that. Uh, let's use this. Yeah, medium density. So a 5,000 medium density circle. It needs to curve around a little bit. So yeah, let's come up here. The center is just... Oh, this, actually, the center is about on the center of one of these mega towers. How far out? About that far. Okay. Yep. Um, it's gonna. It's probably not going to be absolutely a hundred percent the same as the other one, but but we'll see what we can do. Now, which way is this going to go? Uh, oh, need need regionals. Need regionals. Come on. Oh, it's going to come out that way. Oh, that's good. Uh, so I think we need to leave room for a building which is going to be about that big. So I'm thinking. Maybe bring it in a little bit there-ish. And 5,000. Oh, oh, oh. Come on. Yeah, it looks like it's that or the... Uh, 157. Oh, that, that'll do. That's close enough. I hope I'm not too close to this. We'll see. Now, how did I align them? That's a good question. Uh, okay, like pretty much 50-50. And we'll see what snap points we get, because I did have a bit of a bit of a problem with the old snap points. Now this is, uh, I've got to remember, oh, it's the last building, it's building 20. Here we go. Do I have all my snap points? Yeah, but this goes over that road, so, okay, that's what was the alignment? Let's see if this works. Oh, it might, yeah, it might work. Oh, I don't have any snap points just there. So, well, we'll, we'll do it slightly, yeah, Actually, this will work. If I if I do it there, and there, and then we want something like, what do we think? About there, there. Oh, I hate it when it won't give you the blooming snap points. And it's because of where the, the joins are. If I, re, if I put this road in again, it'll give me the snap points. So, I guess I'll have to do that. So, that needs to be there. And this one would be a little bit further across. So, let's put that road in. This is why I show you these things. So that you're like, why is that happening? And it's because the, it's because the, the, the thing thinks there's a junction here. That's why it doesn't give you the snap points. So, just use the old arc tool. And uh, reconnect it. Like that. There we go. And I'll bet you, I'll bet you now we've got snap points. Uh, if I go to the right building, here we go, building 20, and and now we've got snap points. Oh, that's not building 20, that's building 20. There we go. Let's get, try and get this aligned properly. Yeah, that one, that one, that one. There we go. Cool. And what I'll do, I'll do the same as I did before. So I'll, I'll put in um, a control net facility, I think. Because it's good, like if you've got high wealth people, you may as well take advantage of them and put in a control net facility. So where's our uh, academy and control net? I'll pop this baby in on this side, I think. Yeah. 
This circle, actually, I think is slightly bigger than the circles that I had in Tamarin North. And I, I think a slightly bigger circle actually works better. So, <laughs> I wonder if I'm going to end up, like, replacing all the buildings in Tamarin North. No, 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 must resist the temptation. Now, I'm going to have to put some wealth in there. And we're going to have to hook this up somehow. Now, like, the obvious way to hook this up would be to take this road, right, and just run it, like, straight into there. But, of course, it goes into Malfunction Junction. Now, this, you know, I, I think things are going to, I think this is going to change, because somebody else pointed out, and I'm really sorry that I don't remember every name of every commenter, I I, I you know, I used to have a pen and paper, and I used to write, like, when I was reading the comments, like, I used to take notes of, like, people's names and what they said and stuff, and I lost my pen, and I, and I, instead, of, I can't find the damn thing, and instead of just, like, getting another pen, I kind of just got out of the habit of doing it. I'm so really sorry, guys, I, I need to get myself organised. Um, but what I was saying was, uh, this person said, well, well, like, why? You've elevated this, and then you drop it down, right, and then you elevate it again. Why not just keep it elevated? It would look nicer. I, mean, I think you're probably right, to be absolutely honest. Um, and of course, if this was elevated, right, then I could run this road underneath that and hook up to there. That would work very, very nicely. And then, of course, if this was elevated, this one could actually come down onto the ground and just have a very simple connection to here, which would work a hell of a lot better, I think. So, <laughs> you know, I... I am kind of tempted to do this, but the pain and suffering that you guys went through in the last episode, watching me put this together, no, we're not going to do that. We're not going to do that. I, I'm not going to do that to you. So, um, how do, uh, so how am I going to hook this up? I'll, I'll, I will sort it out. I think that's what's going to happen. I will sort that out like in the final tinkering, but for now, we'll just like we'll just like hook this up just so that it's connected and. Uh, how are we going to do this? So, I'm thinking... Um, pff, like, how the hell do we hook this up? It's a uh, very good question, actually. Uh, yeah, I may, yeah, I, yeah, I may have to put in a little elevated bit. Yeah. Yeah, I th actually, I think I have to. Oh, man. Oh, man. Please, please let this be simple. So, let's just... Um, Let's pause this because time's running and it's going to be dark soon. So I think if we just take out like this bit, there we go. I might take out that bit as well just, just because the terrain's gone a bit horrible. All right, there we go. And uh, then, okay, you Don, the bane of my life. Now, what did I use for this? I probably should have used high density, but I don't think I did. I'm pretty sure that I used the regional highways. This this baby. So, will you hook on... Yeah, you will. Right, okay. I need to do an elevated seat, but... See, that's not going to work. Because it's underneath this blimmin' elevated section. Now, some... I'll, I'll, actually, I'll show you this, because... Somebody said, right, what you do... If you take out, like, an elevated section, right, then run the road that you want to run underneath it, like that. See, now that will work. We could just run that out to, like, there, right? And then you put your elevated section back in. So we take this and just hook it up to this, hit the M key, hopefully, and boom. See? How simple is that? I've used the wrong road type. This should have been a two rather than a four. But but you get the you get the principle. You get the principle. And that is a very, very, very good tip, I have to say. And I, I must admit I didn't know that. So thank you for that one. Uh two lane elevated highway. Should be this one, I think. And M key. Oh, come on. No. Not gonna do it. Uh, what's the difference between this? I actually don't know. Let's try this one. See if this one will do what we want. Come on, come on. M. Yeah, there we go. There we go. All works when you know what the hell you're doing, which I don't. <laughs> right. So we wanted to put in um, an elevated section for this bit, didn't we? Yes, we did. 
and we're using four way four lane so we want to put like um oh man this uh, this could be a bit brutal with the transitions uh, i'm gonna have to take that back again but you know what it's gonna be um uh, i've got the arc tool on haven't i yeah so we want it to come out and do like something like the oh will it do the will it it won't automatically do the transitions but or will it oh you know what it will they're horrible but yeah it's an absolutely horrible transition but it's got the job done excellent so we can hook this up now so we go back to our regional streets we're getting there. We're getting there. Slowly. Very slowly. Uh, what do I want? Regular streets. Here we go. Regional streets. And we take one of these. Hook this up. Oh, come, oh, do something nice, please. Please do something nice. There we go. There we go. Right. I'll wealth this up afterwards. But, um, yeah. Yeah, coming together. I, de I definitely want to get, like, smoother transitions on this and stuff. But we'll... I'll, I'll, I'll have a play around like in the final tinkering and we'll, we'll see what we get. Uh, so, now. Oh, now, somebody else said um, this road, this road that runs across here, um, is completely pointless, right? Because it's the same as this road, this tunnelled road. It just goes from this side of the city to this side because there's no junctions. Haha, -ha, well, there's no junctions yet. But I'm fairly sure that at some point in time there will be. Yep, fairly sure about that. You know, um, let's hook, I think, this up to here. And we can do that with a regular street, can't we? Yeah, we can. So let's let's just hook this up to here. Boom. We start to get these roads connected. I'm trying to get, like, a bit of a, a feel for the city now. And, like, exactly how it's going to be and stuff. Is this one of these burned down or something? Yeah, what a surprise. Yeah, no worries, no worries. That'll come back. I, I'm I'm trying to get a feel for the like the density that I want to put in. I think it's time for me to build the mega towers. Right, yeah, let me do that. Let me put the mega towers together, and we'll see what happens. Okay, so we've uh, we've got our mega towers now. We've got this all grown up over here. Let me pause it. Actually, let me pause this for a second because there's, there's something I want to show you. Um, right. <laughs> oh man. You know what? Let me like pull back and let me show you kind of how the region is shaping up because I was looking at this. I've let the city actually run for quite a few days just to let it bed in and make sure everything's working and stuff. And I, like while I was waiting, I was kind of looking around and you know, having Tamarin Island over here, and it, like imagine when Tamarin North, when this extends up into this area as well, and then like you pan around, like oh my word, and like when all of this is filled in, this is really starting to remind me of like Hong Kong, and like the whole Kowloon Bay thing. It's so. Uh, this, by the way, excellent, Jonathan. Thank you for that. I was thinking the same thing, actually, but you kind of prompted me to do it. Um, uh, by the way, I fixed this uh, roundabout, and I fixed this road uh, here, which uh, which needed to be fixed. When I'm putting one ways together, I just throw them in. Fix them afterwards. That, that's kind of my perspective. Like, like get the thing in, then fix it afterwards. Right, what was I going to uh, What was I going to show you? Oh, 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 what I was going to show you. Oh, a couple of things to show you, actually. Um, while I was running it, um, had a li oh, oh, and I'll, t I'll tell you about the mega towers, what's in them later. Um, when I was running this, had a little bit of a crime problem. So I put in another precinct, which is um, there, right? So I put in another poli police precinct over here. And I noticed that the, um, the cars, the police cars from the first police precinct had completely gone missing. Like there were no police cars in the, in the region, at, in, at, like none, gone, disappeared, God knows where is what it is um so um so i put in i put in uh, an extra block of cars I'll, I'll just replace that and fix it later uh, but having let it run for a while i checked on the crime right and i got a bit of a surprise right 52 crimes why why am i having all these crimes well because 
all, virtually all the police cars have disappeared again. Right, now I need to find out why the hell that's happening. But look at this, because I think this is funny. Right? This is, this is, look. These police cars have somehow managed to find their way onto these roads, these submerged roads, which of course are not hooked up to anything. I suspect mafia involvement. I think they've given them, uh, given them a set of concrete shoes and thrown them in the lake. <laughs> oh, the, I, look, I laughed my ass off when I saw that at first. Oh, by the way, look, I've come, I've, I've, I've been in and out of this city a few times, and look, that road, it's still a bridge, still a bridge, how about that? Right, um, we, uh, we need to fix this, and I said I was going to show this to you, so let's show you, let's show you how you connect these sunken roads, so, um, let's, um, let's get a bit of a look at them, um, so, where are we, waterways, no, custom roads, aren't we? Yeah, custom roads and the, the ocean forms, which and they don't really show up that well, to be honest. But I'm sure you can see. Right. Well, the way you hook them up is very, very simple. You use um, a tunnel. It, it's that easy. And I think the one we want is this one. Now, where am I going to hook them up to? Um, I'm, ju I'm just going to like hook them up to like the easiest place that I can hook them up to. So I'm thinking, uh, where can I hook up to? Originally, I was going to hook them up to this road that comes off here, and I still might. We'll see. Um, let's see. Let's see if I can do it. So I don't need to worry about these, but well, although I might have to hook these up so that they're actually all connected, but we'll see. Um, I do need to connect this up somehow. But maybe I can hook that up across there. But all you do is just run a tunnel um, and just connect it to like something. Kind of doesn't matter too much what the hell it is, really. Um, I'm going to put a building in here, so that's not a good place. But maybe, maybe here would work. Let's let's give it a little bit of a try. Um, what I'm going to hook it up with don't know I, I guess I should use like a um, should I use a, yeah I should probably use a Udon let's use a regular Udon straight and we'll put a little doll oh. why are you doing that why are you why are you giving me circles you stupid thing all right let's try a straight road why are you why are you giving me sir? Oh, it's a roundabout. <laughs> oh, man, I'm going to leave that in. You guys will laugh. Right. Um, yeah, let's put. Let's just put a little road in there. Uh, I don't know if this is going to hook up this way, but we'll see. We'll see. What did I want? Custom roads, didn't I? Uh, roads, custom roads, tunnel, uh, low density water, and then oh, I want the arc tool, don't I? Yeah. So then we hook this, and will you hook up? Will you do something? They they're a bit fussy these tunnels. If we bring that out, and also like the the elevation levels, you kind of need to watch out for. I might extend this road, but I'll just show you how you hook it up, and like and then worry about it afterwards. So if we bring that out to like there, and then we do a tunnel. Oh, yeah, it will. Oh, no, see, it's... They're very fussy. Very fussy, these. It's saying it's too close to that intersection. Probably need to make that a little bit longer. Uh, not with a roundabout, Sky, you bonehead. Uh, let's see if that... Let's see if that will work. You have to tinker around with these things, but that's... Come on, that's half the fun with these things, is tinkering around and trying to figure out how the hell to make them work. Uh, will you just hook up straight? No, you won't. What about if I do it from about here? No, you're not going to. You're not going to. What about... Ah, 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 now. Oh, oh there. We, now, that's more like it. That's a decent angle, I think. Ooh, no, that's a bit too 
that's a bit too shallow an angle so get rid of that do that again but this is going to work now that's a relief so uh, yeah something can something kind of in between like that and then hook it up to there. There we go. Right, so now we've got this hooked up, and we can we can find out if that's actually hooked up just by checking the um, electricity. And of course, if electricity starts going down here, then our parks will be activated, and they will start getting because they're not showing the holograms at the moment. If I go down here, you can see no holograms. So we've just got to wait for one of these little bits of electricity to come down here. Hopefully and actually take this 50-50 decision to go... Ah, oh, there we go. There's one. Oh, and there's another one coming around from this side as well to light this park up. So now, yeah, there, and now we get our holograms. There we go. This one hasn't got enough... It, yeah, there, there, it's got its power. But you can see now why I need to hook this one up to these. Now, hopefully, our police cars will have found a way out this one hasn't, because I've got to hook that one up. Oh, and this one's on these, so I need to hook that up as well. But there you go. That's how you do that. You want to see me hook the rest of it up? Yeah, well, what the hell. Go on. Go on, then. Since you asked nicely, I'll show you. So, ocean form. This could be a bit of messing about, but I hope not. Um, it should just be a case of hooking this up to this somehow. Um, and this one, the same kind of deal. It's... Trying to squeeze past these parks is going to be maybe a touch problematic. But if I bring that out like that, and I don't care about like junctions and stuff, so uh, oh, is that so? Hang on a second. That's is that hooked up to that now? I think it is, and that's hooked up to that now. So hopefully, that is. Yep, that's hooked up. Lovely. So now, the only one that we've got to hook up is this one over here. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see if we can do it. So, I wish the red lines would stay on. Makes it a hell of a lot easier, doesn't it, when you can actually see what the hell you're doing. Uh, so, we just want to hook that up to there. There. There we go. And I can hook that up to there. Just in case any car gets stuck on that stupid bit of road. And same with this one. Are there any other silly bits of road? Do you need to be hooked up? Yes, you do. Right, let's do that one. Wouldn't surprise me if this was the same. No, that one's hooked up already, I think. Right, let's go to the electricity view, because that's the easiest way to see. Ah, uh, no. This still needs to get connected and... Potentially this little bit here as well. Uh, well, let's let's do these. Might as well do it all in one go. Get it done. Get it out of the way. So hook that up to there. And can we hook this up to there? Yeah, we can. But how are we going to then hook that up to this? Because that's going to be a bit of a problem. Um, unless we can hook it up around this side. But I don't think it'll go under there. No. Rides overlap. Uh, oh, man. How? How do we get that to hook up to this now? Okay. That's kind of an interesting one. That's not going to do that. Okay. I'll, well, I'll, I'll figure that one out later. <laughs> I don't know. I'll have to give that some thought. But there you go. So that's how you, that's how you do that. That's... Switch this on. Make sure that the power's getting to all of these bits. Which, yeah, it is. Yeah, there it is. Whizzing round. Lovely. So hopefully our police cars, apart from the one that's stuck on here, should be able to get out now. Which would kind of be a, a nice thing. Yeah, so there's one stuck down there, but the rest have got out. But we've only got, like, three or four police cars. And we should have a lot more than that. Because, like, that police station's got four cars, or should have four cars. And look, they're all out on patrol, it says. This one should have ten. But if we go down and look at this lot, right, this lot is empty, right? Well, where are the, where are the police cars? 
there's only like five cars. We should have like 14. So that's all a bit strange. Oh, there's one there now. What I'm going to do, just to uh, kind of repopulate things a little bit, is take this out. I'll actually replace these police stations, which I'm hoping is going to fix the, the problem longer term. Come on, go away. Thank you. Plop that in. Right, we'll get some more police cars. Start getting some of these guys locked up. Look at the look at this. The the re, this is the the, the regional criminals thing. Two thousand seven hundred and sixty five criminals supposedly in this region. Ridiculous. These numbers are just such nonsense. If you play this game, like you've got to learn to play this game by feel. Don't play by watching the numbers because the numbers are just absolute nonsense in this game or most of them are anyway 